Okay, in this tutorial, we'll handle the jumping for our character. Currently, we can move about on the slopes and we have gravity enabled, but there is no jumping. And of course, we will need some jumping. So, um, let's just get ready with that. And let me just show you what I have done without telling you. <laughs> So I added sense Y for our up and down mouse movement and sends X for the left and right mouse movement. That's why I can change these values in the inspector to get a slower or faster movement response rate basically. Sensitivity Y and sensitivity X. Um, that's what you can see here is going on. So I'll just show you how I did it in a, um, in a while. So you can see uh, I'm moving about. Okay. Well, let's get here into my IDE. I just defined two serialized fields underneath the transform definition, the center spine, and call it sense y and sense x. And then down here in the look method, I say float mouse x equals look vector dot y multiplied by time with delta time multiplied by sense x. And uh, same underneath, but this time time with delta y multiplied by sense y. And that's it really. Let's get started now and hand in the jumping. Okay, so first we have to double click on the play input actions, add an input action, call it jump, keep it as button, and inside the no binding, I just click my spacebar, and it's just click the spacebar. Yeah. Now for the gamepad, wait for it to refresh. The gamepad, we will select button E, which is the X on a PlayStation controller, and save the asset. After it's done script compiling, we'll just close the window and you close the folders now let's get into the scripting part so basically we will only need one variable right literally just one variable and we will name it it should be visible in the inspector okay so first we add a add a comment jump and we add a header inside the header we will write jump and we will make a serialized field of type private float and this is going to be called our jump force equals 5 this is the default value for now okay then so next we will go down um underneath the gravity method yeah underneath the gravity method we can um add another method okay so we can say private void jump 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 and inside you'll call this method every update too so let's just write it up there so underneath the gravity you'll write jump call the jump function okay so basically it's pretty simple we just write if input of player dot uh, jump was the name yeah dot is pressed because we want to be continuously jumping if we have kept it pressed and we will write velocity y equals our jump force okay so we will jump our velocity y will be equaling to our jump force and we don't want to just start flying up the air if you are pressed we should also stop going up if we are grounded if we are not grounded then we shouldn't go so that's it character control is grounded and we will just want to make it a format document so that our code looks all straightforward and more better to understand so just say that and then save the script yeah and it's completely doing the script select the player and make sure it has five we can modify the gravity multiplier and the jump force to get a best jumping and gravity effect so you can see that it's pretty funny right now gravity is acting too much so um let's change it to like one maybe one the gravity multiplier yeah that looks really smooth and nice you can change the jump force as well make it look better it's jumping about like a hero if i keep the space bar pressed and continuously jump as well which is the great thing about our script because we have said it is pressed and we check if we are grounded so it will not go up the air all the time 
Okay. So you can just modify these jump foes, gravity mode. I think this should be four and that should be one. So I'll continue like that. Okay then. That's it for this tutorial. In the next one we will uh what will we do? I'll think about that later. Let's just space it as new, just so that's one and four. And let's save our project and that's it.